Hi, uh, we're at NRF 2016 and while we're here I wanted to uh, capture this video and try to go through the, the API management part that we have in the product. That's uh, a big part of the demo we have at NRF uh, with our partner uh, Shoptelligence. Uh, we're doing an integration where um, a particular application is able to show uh, ensemble suggestions. Uh, in order to craft all that ensemble suggestions, our partner actually needs um, to fetch all the catalog data, past purchases, and a lot of other metrics to be able to craft out those ensembles. And you know, uh, today there are like a lot of uh, cloud service providers providing different values and retailers, they kind of end up pushing this the same data set to uh, multiple locations in the cloud. Every cloud provider, every service provider asks for the data of the retailer and the retailers end up pushing this, the same data multiple times to multiple locations. So from our perspective, because uh, essentially we want to help our customers and we do have the data of the retailer, we said what about exposing this data set to third parties so that they can start providing additional value to our customers. And we help our customers by help, helping them to be the golden location of their catalog in the cloud and allowing them to reuse the data uh, and provide the same data to other service providers as well. But you know, once you uh, I want to do that, I mean, there happens to be a lot of complications because not every type of data you want to expose to third parties. You need to do the authentication, the authorization, and then the mattering. Uh, you need to maybe uh, put some kind of a licensing on top of that, and maybe uh, you're going to sell your data that is within Zomni to a third party. So all that stuff is, 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 is stuff that you can do with our API management integration. You can simply go to our portal, to, to the Zomni uh, management portal, and once you enable third-party data access, the API management, you're going to be able to uh, define your own licensing uh, model on top of your data. You're going to be able to define subscriptions. You're going to be able to define multiple levels of subscriptions and limit the consumption, the usage of your data as well, and limit what part of the data is going to be exposed to uh, third parties. So that kind of helps to reuse the data that you push to Zomni. And in this case at NRF, the demo that we have, if you didn't watch that uh, video that we have about the demo uh, we have at NRF, uh, we're just going to link that. Hopefully you're watching this video on YouTube. If not, uh, feel free to go to our YouTube channel and we're going to have a separated link to that particular video uh, underneath this uh, video that you're watching. So uh, in that demo, we got the integration, just one, uh, as an example, just one integration uh, uh, with Shop Intelligence, where when the partner is able to fetch all the data from our cloud, from Zomni Cloud, to provide additional value, which is in that case uh, the ensemble suggestions. So again, retailers are able to reuse the data that they have in Zomni, not just to enable all, the, all these in-store uh, experiences that they want to build, but provide the data to third parties as well to feed uh, different, you know, um, features through different partners as well. And uh, we can have additional partners who could simply tap in, uh, be Zomni compatible, who could simply tap in into the catalog of the retailer by their permission and start providing additional value to interactive agencies and retailers who are building new store experiences. Yeah, feel free uh, to send us uh, your questions below in the comments if you have any and let us know what you think about it. Thank you.